In these next few sessions, we are going to be looking at inventory valuation. Now, if we have a material that's perhaps used in our production process, we are going to purchase that material at a certain price. However, the purchase price may change throughout the course of the year. Now, if we issue that material to production, we're going to have to put a value on that issue amount. So if we issue 10 units of material, we need to know how much are we charging our production department for the use of that material. Likewise, at the end of the period, we're going to have to put a value on our closing inventory. Now, bearing this in mind, if the prices have fluctuated throughout the course of the year, then how do we know what value to put on our closing inventory or what value to place on each of those issues to production? Now, that is the question we will be answering in these next few sessions. Let's look at a straightforward example. So, suppose a company uses a particular material in their production process and it purchases three units of this material throughout the first three months of the year. The purchase cost in January is £200. In February, it's gone up to £210. And in March, it's £223. Now, on the 24th of March, so after our final purchase, we issue a set of this material or tools to production. And we are asking then, how much should we charge the production department for that set of tools? Now, there's a couple of different answers here. So do we charge them at the oldest price? So, so do we say, well, we are giving them the tools that we purchased in January, which cost us £200? So that is the value we place on the issue. So we might say, as a first option, the value we will place is £200, which is the oldest available price. What we will see is that taking this approach is the FIFO method, or first in, first out. So when we are issuing materials to production, we are going to take the oldest available material we have in stock and use that purchase price to charge our production department. Or we might say, well, the most recent price was £223. This is the true current value of the tools, if you like. So that's how much we're going to charge our production department. So option two, then, is to value the issue at £223, which is the most recent price. This is the last in, first out method, or the LIFO method. Under the LIFO method, when we are issuing materials to production, we issue the most recently purchased material available and use that purchase price to value the issue. Or you might think to yourself, well, if we've paid a different purchase price each month, surely the fairest or most appropriate way to value the issue is to find an average of all three prices. So option three then would be to take an average. So we have 200 plus 210 plus 223. So the total cost of all our purchases divided by the number of units we purchased. And we get an average of 211. So this is our average price. 
And these effectively are the three different methods we can use to value our inventory. FIFO method, LIFO method, and our average, or what we will refer to as the weighted average method.